Hello everyone, welcome. This is your fourth chapter Windows Forms. So, now we will see the concept of MDI forms creating MDI applications. So, MDI stands for multiple document interface. So, you use multiple document interface that is MDI forms. MDI frame window can display multiple child windows inside them. MDI applications are more invariably use menus to create new windows. So, multiple document interface although so far we have used only one form, but here we can use multiple forms. Okay? So, that is called the MDI forms. That is you, you can use these MDI forms to create some menus, menus like file or edit or any other menu. I inside file menu we have uh, uh, file new, save, exit like that. So, such menus you can create using this MDI applications. See the main form, form 1 we will be our MDI container or MDI parent. So, first of all you when you create a form it will be a form 1 and it will be a MDI container or a MDI parent containing MDI children. So, set it uh, set its is MDI container property to true. Okay. So, and uh, this alters its appearance from a white uh, client area to a gray one. Next, drag a main menu control from the toolbox onto form 1. So, this causes a new control main menu 1 to appear in the new pan at uh, the bottom of the form designer and a new menu bar to appear in a form 1. So, with the text type here in it, and to create a file menu type file in the type here box okay see first of all the form 1 you should make it uh, you should set the is mdi container property to true okay and creating mdi child windows in code so we have created a new form class form 2 for our MDI child windows uh, for that for creating MDI child windows first of all you should create another you should add another form that is form 2 and uh, create yeah, so we can create and display a new object of that class each time the user clicks the file new menu item in our program so to make that new form object a child window of our MDI parent form 1 so form 1 is MDI parent and form 2 will be a child child form of MDI parent okay child form of form 1 so form 2 will become the child uh, form of form 1 so form 1 all we have to do is to set its MDI parent property to the main window so you can set it to is MDI child property to true okay so you if you you should uh, select that form 2 and uh, you should set the uh, property is MDI child property to true. So, because we are working with the number of child forms. So, here uh, we have only not only one form 2 and we will be having multiple child windows. So, we should we can store them in an array of uh, forms. So, incrementing the number of forms each time a new uh, one is creating. So, setting the text in it its title bar to document 1, document 2 and so on. So, actually title bar will be form 2 and now we can change it to document 1 or document 2. So, here is the code how to create child uh, win, child forms in uh, using code. Okay. See here, dim number form as integer 0. So, you are declaring number forms, number forms is an uh, is a variable and uh, is a type of uh, integer okay is of type integer so number of forms equal to 0 and forms of 10 that is array of forms as a form 2 so now uh, menu item 2 you should click that menu item 2 and inside that you can write the code number forms plus equal to 1 forms of number forms equal to new form 2 new form 2 forms of number form uh, dot text equal to document and uh, str of number forms 
the forms of uh, number forms dot mdi parent equal to me forms of number forms equal dot show so forms of number uh, forms dot show to show the child window okay to form that to show that form so so here number forms uh, equal to number forms plus 1 so this is the code to create uh, mdi child and here one more after creating the child windows you can arrange these child windows so to automatically arrange mdi child windows you can use the M layout mdi method okay so you should use the layout mdi method see there's a general form public sub layout mdi by val value as mdi layout so this sub procedure takes one argument value which is one of the mdi layout enumeration values that defines the layout of mdi child form so mdi layout for enumeration values are arrange icons cascade tile horizontal tile vertical okay so these are the mdi layout enumeration so there are four enumerations uh, arrange icons cascade tile horizontal tile vertical arrange icons all mdi child icons are arranged when you are they are displayed when you we minimize an mdi child window okay arrange icons all mdi child icons are arranged cascade all mdi child windows are cascaded tile horizontal all mdi child windows are tiled horizontally tile vertical all mdi child windows are tiled vertically so here is one example to uh, how to use the mdi layout enumeration to arrange your child forms okay to arrange child icons you have to use me dot layout mdi of mdi layout cascade so this is the code to uh, cascade your child windows so now we will see one example of mdi forms how to create mdi forms okay so first uh, go to project project and select windows forms application and uh, give the name for that application so i'm giving mdi name okay mdi 1 and click ok so your application is ready here you got form 1 okay drag it see the forms property see form is clicked form is selected here and see the is mdi property of this form go to is mdi container for it now it is make it true okay see now it is uh, changed your form color is changed to gray color so indicating it is an mdi form so it will become form one will, will become mdi container that is parent form so now menu strip go to menu strip this is the menu strip click it and drag it there so here you get type here so here you can uh, type the menu name so i am typing here file and under that new next one close windows close windows and uh, exit so now there is one more type here it will have one more menu so i'm adding one more menu that is windows so under that tile horizontal so next one style vertical and 
and the cat food. So this is the two minus I have. File. Under file, you have new, close windows, exit and windows, tile horizontal, tile vertical, cascade. So, you have not written any code for that. So, now I am going to write a code for adding new file that means child windows. New, double click on that new menu strip. See new tool strip menu item. New tool strip menu item. So, here you will have to write the code. I am writing the code here. For writing code, first of all, we have to add one more form here. Go to add windows form. Okay, child window, we have to add it form 2. Add. Okay, so I have added one more one more file, a form, form 2. Or you can make its uh, a property is uh, MDI child to true. But here I am writing code for creating child window. Dim form 1. So, form 2 as new form 2. Form 2 dot show method. So, it will display the form 2, it will show the form 2 FRM2 as new form 2. So, FRM2 is a form that is form 2. So, here for FRM2 form 2, right, uh, MDI parent equal to new. So now, see if you click new, there is form 2 will appear. So form 2, another new. There are form uh, four child windows, but the name is form 2, form 2, form 2. Okay. Because it will uh, show the same form 2. Horizontal. So, here let us uh, write one code for arranging the child windows horizontally. Tile horizontal tool strip. 
me dot layout mbi So MDA layout tile horizontal. This is the code. See the new. See these are these are arranged horizontally. Form one. Tile vertical. So now tile vertical. Me dot layout MDI. MDI layout tile vertical. So this is the code. There are four enumerations, tile horizontal, vertical and cascade and arrange. So now for cascade, me dot layout MDI, MDI layout uh, cascade, see, see, adding new child forms, form 2. See the names vertical cascade. This will be the tile cascade. So, this is the vertical horizontal. It is not visible correctly. So, let us correct it. So, we write a code in form load. Form load, form once load event. So, the load event is when you load the form, how to the appearance of the form. Okay, so me dot window state, window state, form window state maximized. So, now it is maximized. Okay, so now you can clearly see all the child forms. vertical cascade but here it shows only form 2 the name of uh, names of child forms is just a form 2 okay so we can change it just to make it comment okay These are the comment lines. I am just uh, commenting it. So, here See, if I add new forms, the names of forms will be form 2, form 2, form 2. So, I can change it. Okay. It will show the same form 2 again and again. So, how to change it? First, I am going to comment these codes. bin n form see already we have seen in the theory how to uh, create child forms in code okay so see the same code dim n form as form 2 as a integer sorry in form as integer equal to 0 okay n form is integer as integer equal to 0 bin form form 
din forms array so 10 forms of 10 as as form 2 form 2 okay n form as integer forms of 10 so now n form plus equal to plus 1 equal so should be n form plus equal to 1 equal to 1 Form forms of 10 that means n form so now it is initialized to 0 and form of 0 dot text that means forms the first form equal to form the number just append it the append operator ampersand str of n form see n form is initialized to initially it is 0 isn't it so form 0 but here n form plus equal to 1 means it will be incremented to 1 so form 1 first form will be form 1 array of forms forms of n form that is form 1 form 2 form 3 mdi so mdi parent equal to mu forms of n form dot show call the show method so it will show the form show okay. so this is the code so now if you run this program file new there is a problem form 2 so now just run this program add new forms so now form will be arranged like form 1 form 2 form 3 form 4 so this is the form array of forms 1 2 3 4 5 okay tile horizontal tile vertical cascade form 1 new 3 so now just you can clearly see that vertical cascade okay
closed windows. So we have not written any code for closed windows. So let us close the child forms. Close windows. Close the child windows. For each. For each form 1. This is the variable FRM1 as move dot MDO for each form one as form in me dot md children frm form one close method so this is the for loop so next form one this is the for loop it will close all the forms to form three close windows it will ch close the child windows so now write code for exit it is closing the parent window parent form me dot close to close the form exit okay that is the exit the whole forms 